This is a uh, variegated mayho hibiscus talacea uh, or linden like hibiscus. Uh, it's in the mallow family or the malvaceous family. Anyway, this thing, they're, they're not rare, but this is just a nice sort of mottled pattern on these leaves. Plus, you got disparity in the, the green and white and then this sort of burgundy color here. So, I thought it was worthy of showing off here. Uh, there are there are a lot of variations in the uh, this type of mayho uh, hibiscus. Uh, mayho seems to be a catchphrase for or a catch name for a lot of uh, subtropical plants like this. But this one is the uh, Talacea. There's one flower up there. I couldn't find anything close, but they have a typical hibiscus flower, real pretty. Anyway, this is just a nice specimen. Ooh, there's a nice Florida native uh, Anolis carolinensis. Oh, just took off there one of our little native green lizards that's oftentimes displaced by the uh, Anolis sagrii, the Cuban brown, which is a shame, but there's still plenty of the green ones around. Uh, so anyway, hibiscus talacea, uh, the mayho variegated with lots of nice pretty flowers. Now one caveat, I'll step back, these are not uh, petite shrubs. These things will definitely take over a situation. So. If you're considering them and watching this video because you're considering them, just put that in, in your uh, list of things to consider there.